Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? It wasn't my choice. I didn't ask to rewind time. Stop playing innocent. You've left a trail of death behind you. You even let that stalker Madsen kill Jefferson. That's sick. You're way more of a cold-blooded killer than him or Nathan. Bullshit. That was self-defense. I never set out to kill anybody. That doesn't make you any less of a murderer. I know what I am. You're just trying to hurt me. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Just look at the pain you've caused. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy- Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head! She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't! There's no way you can break up our team! This is reality! After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. 